So here's our cool and sugar cane. All right, so this is sugar cane. So it grows kind of like bananas or a grass, actually, in the sense that it has the root kind of corm and then the shoots of the cane come up. So as you see, this is a kind of darker, but it's really just mold or something. This variety of cane. Uh, I'm not sure. I think they call it green, maybe, because it's sort of more green when you clean it. It can be pressed for juice. Um, it's thinner. And the uh, leaves, they don't have these like hairs. That's kind of really annoying if you touch the other cane, which I'll show. It's a bit better than this cane. So this cane, it's okay for juicing. Um, so how do we decide on which cane to cut? Basically, there's a few things. Um, really doesn't matter a whole lot thing that's got thickness and height that you're uh, okay with juicing you can cut it and then the third thing that i like to see is like uh is it beneficial so right now there's a couple canes here that kind of fallen over so those are not beneficial they're actually disturbing another bush there it's called the blackberry gem fruit or ge yeah, blackberry gem fruit i did another video on that i can link it in this uh, video so uh yeah basically let's say we wanted this cane um so if we cut it from the plant if it's still healthy it should last for up to a week potentially if it hasn't been uh too dried out so basically we come to the bottom here of the plant of or actually of the yeah stalk or whatever this one here looks like very thick as well so it's good the thicker they are you'll still have to split them if you're going to and crank juice them and you come with some precision you try to get it as closest to the base like that and then you have one stalk here and then the top part is usually a clump of leaves and the juice there is less sweet so you just chop that off and then you can keep this or juice it it's good to clean it so here's the kind of uh cane that they call they use it more for making honey so they'll juice it and then boil it they call it cane honey which is like a syrup very sweet and it lasts longer than the juice the juice once it's juiced if it's not refrigerated it lasts about a day and then if you refrigerate it it would probably last for like two or three days if it's kept cold if you add lemon to it it'll kind of be less fermented so that's the first cane, and we can go down and see the other patch. All right. <laughs> All right, here's our durian. I think this is either a seedling or some kind of grafted, but not something I know which kind of. Probably about seven, seven or so years old. So this is our food forest kind of newer part, the older part behind there but anyway so here we used to have like a papaya field but it was kind of hard to maintain uh papayas we still have a few but basically i thought what is easier to maintain is sugarcane it's a lot hardier it's kind of like a banana really it grows really well so this is the other banana uh, sugarcane variety um i think the locals call it white blanco so it has mostly kind of a yellow and it also has green stripes. So the advantage of this, it's softer. So if you were to want to chew on without juicing it, or if you're hand cranking, it's going to be softer, juicier. I'm not sure it might be slightly less sweet because there's more juice in it. So it produces more juice. It's thicker, seems to be fairly, uh, yeah, fast growing. So here's another tree I planted, Mame Sapote. This one's not grafted either, but um, so here we see the function part. So in permaculture, we stack functions. Like if we're going to harvest a cane, we might as well give a benefit to that uh, Mame Sapote and cut it out of the way. It's already a thick, mature, long, so it's going to give, I, it's hard to estimate, but I've seen it give like, a liter for every meter so if you have like 
three, four liters in here, maybe, or yeah, less, give or take. So yeah, same idea. We have the machete coming down to the base. Um, basically, the more you get closer, I think it gets sweeter, possibly, but it's hard to really get all of it. So we have to find a way to swing. The other method is using like a saw, uh, either a hand saw or like electric one that I have a little uh, chainsaw. Um, but machetes should be fine, so just kind of aim. You can take your time to try to aim and give it a, a good whack. So there it is. And you, what well, you see also, it's the uh, flowers, so or seeds. Seeds are flowers that it gives off. Oh yeah, and the disadvantage of this cane is that these leaves at the base, they have... Um, some hairs you can kind of see them here if you oh, touch yeah, they're these they're, they'll prick you and they kind of stain the skin so if you put your hand swipe it by accident or any part of your skin they'll stay in there not too long so you just have to kind of rub it off and it will take a few minutes it's not too painful so yeah the top part has these sprouts so if we wanted to we could plant more sugarcane and we don't need the top just like in the other one I just cut them off, and it's you, you could plant it or just mulch it for this mame sapote, so we can clear around the mame a little bit, give it some love, grow big and strong, give us fruit quickly, <laughs> and so yeah. So with this one, if you're not too careful, it might be better to use gloves, but if you know where to hold it and use a machete to kind of move it to place and then once it's out of the way there shouldn't be anything prickly on it but there is some sprouts so if you wanted you could cut this off and plant it or if you have enough then you just chop them off and juice it so yeah this will be a lot of juice I'm guessing about four liters but hard to say it's about a gallon of juice here maybe more I don't know hard to say but. so yeah and you can keep it like cut it and juice it and keep it over a course of a, about a week unless there was a way to keep them in a fridge then they'll keep longer so yeah if it's too big and heavy you could cut it into smaller pieces so carry like one and a half meter piece and then cut another anyway we'll have to cut them the only bad thing about cutting it is bees will eat the ends, but it's not a big deal. And they'll start kind of rotting the ends. And if you see red inside, that's usually fermented. It's not really good to taste. Some people might eat fermented stuff. But... So yeah, and this is only two kinds. There's probably, who knows, dozens, but there's a couple other kinds. We have a darker red one that's thick. There's also one that's striped red that one of the people have. There's also a Buddha belly, which is kind of like, so on these, instead of it being straight, it has kind of a Buddha belly. And they have a red, I think pink stripes. And it tastes kind of similar to this, but it's a little bit harder to juice because of the, that. So yeah, each one of these is essentially like a little node. So they're always on alternating sides. And if you wanted to plant it, you could potentially, maybe even one of these, but the locals here, they always say to plant three at a time. So if I wanted to plant it, I would chop it whack here. All these were planted like that. So we just stick them in the ground, and then within a few months, you'll have a little baby cane. And then this probably over a year now that they've been growing. And we've harvested a little bit here and there. And uh, yeah, so... That's the lesson on harvesting sugarcane. <laughs>